So let's now talk briefly about the ACI mastery program. For those of you who are not aware exactly what the plan is, what the course is involved, um, in order to make sure that you have a complete view about what has been launched so far um, besides this course and what's coming in the near future as well. So here's a layout of the planned courses for the ACI mastery program. Some of them are already available in Udemy and you can enjoy them. Some of them are um, coming in the near future and some others are cooking um, and may take few months before they are uh, released. So the program starts accounting for everyone. If you are a fresh beginner into networking or if you are changing career into networking or if you have been into networking for quite some time, the program takes care of all that. One thing that we thought about and we introduced here as well is a career planning course. So if you have a career plan and you are already into the networking field, do you want to validate your career plan? If so, then this course is for you. If you want to start learning ACI and you are in the networking field, but you know nothing about software defined networks, network function virtualization, cloud, uh, service insertion, data center architecture, both on the physical and logical levels, then this course definitely will add that bit on top of what you know already in the routing and switching and probably security and, and some other stuff. If you are new to the networking field and you don't know which path to take, you don't know what roles are there and you don't know what are the responsibilities of each, you don't know what are the potential pay rates depending on your geography and what will be the maximum salary or the target salary that you should be looking for, um, how to put together a career plan and how to put milestones, how long will it take for you to take some courses, all that is covered in this course and it's highly recommended, not related to ACI, but I thought that would be an excellent way of you to see what's happening in the networking field, what's changing, why it's changing and how is that going to impact what you are doing. And most importantly, to move away from the classical uh, path into certification, the CCNA routing and switching CCNP and then CCIE routing and switching, that is old. And there are new things that can produce much better results and will make you feel more relevant in the center of what's happening in the networking field. So that course is highly recommended, not related to ACI. Okay, so now I am a CCNA. So the minimum for the ACI mastery program is that you are a CCNA or you do have equivalent knowledge to CCNA. What do I need to do in order to start learning ACI? Can I start learning ACI immediately? The answer is no. It's going to be difficult to start learning ACI immediately. So on top of my CCNA knowledge or certificate, what do I need to know? You need to know about software defined networks. You need to know about network function virtualization, data center and how it's built, how the firewalls and server load balancers and the next generation firewalls are inserted into a data center architecture, how the data center is thought about from a physical perspective, and how that connects to the outside world, wide area network, MPLS, what is a VRF, how can I virtualize a device? All that is not included in the CCNP routing and switching and the CCNA routing and switching knowledge. So if you have CCNA or and or CCNP, then your first step into the ACI mastery program, if you are not interested into the career planning, will be the Cisco CCNA to Cisco ACI fast track preparation course, or basically this course right here. So this course will be your logical first step into the ACI mastery program to introduce you at a very high level to SDN, NFV, and to cloud, cloud models, cloud, cloud deployments, and, and to VXLAN, which is the core of all the SDN. So that will be your first course. It's about four hours course, about 23 lectures, but it is going to ramp you up from CCNA, CCNP knowledge very fast to start learning ACI. And just to tell you a brief story, I have one of my dear learners who approached me about a month ago. He said to me that he enrolled in my ACI introduction course, but it was very difficult for him to understand it, although he had a um, couple of years maybe into the networking field, but still that was a, a major challenge for him. So I recommended for him to enroll into this course and he did. After that, after he took this course, he went into the ACI introduction course and then he wrote a very, very nice feedback, I think about a day or two ago. Um, and he said that this is an epic course and it's, he had recommended it for everyone. So step by step, 
career planning and then above your CCNA and or CCNP you get introduced to topics that are not included in CCNA and CCNP and then you take the ACI introduction course and after that you are more than ready to go into the technical deep dive so what will the ACI introduction course give you it will give you the same topics covered into the technical deep dive but at a very very high level so basically it will it will explain to you ACI without getting you into configuration details and parameters and graphical user interface and commands and command line it will just explain it to you as a different way of thinking about networking that is happening right now in the networking domain. So this will be your number one, this will be your number two, and this will be your number three course into the program. And again, I highly recommend the career planning just to revalidate and make sure that you have a proper validated and complete plan into the networking field. One thing to remember is the ACI technical deep dive. I am proudly saying that this is the only affordable, available, high quality and advanced ACI course that is available with all this information in one place. So take advantage of this course. Next to uh, the technical deep dive and we have it planned will come the Cisco ACI configuration guide. And this is going to be a video, a video technical guide for configuring the graphical user interface of Epic. At the minimum, we are going to make all the configuration necessary in scenarios that you can deploy in real life. And after that, for pre-sales system engineers and architects around December timeframe will come an ACI design course. Okay, of course, the courses are available also in Arabic language, at least for now, the planning course and the ACI introduction course are both available in Arabic language as well as in English. So the Arabic versions of the other courses are coming in the next, uh, in, in the next few months. Then we have planned two courses, the troubleshooting course and the programmability course. So these two courses are planned for the first half of next year. And any one of our programs that we, are, we have worked on or we are working on, working on, we always keep some principles and some uh, thinking about the costs as well. The, one of these is the program should start from the ground up. I have met in my career many people that wanted to change career into networking but they did not have the financials to do that. So they couldn't go and spend 2000 euros or $3,000 to get an advanced course. And then what they do is they revert to the classical um, uh, certification pass that the people are following, which is network plus CCNA routing and switching and then CCNP routing and switching. And after they finish CCNP, they have huge dreams about lo lo locating a job right away, but that doesn't happen. And that gets them into distress into disappointment and I have seen some of them turn their back to the network field and move and do something else or go back to their uh, original careers. So one of the th thinkings that we have here is the information we have has to cater for anyone who is at the CCNA level. So we'll take it all the way down to CCNA level even if the, the topic at the end is going to be a very high advanced and niche knowledge to explain and teach always keeping the highest possible quality. If you compare the courses as we advance, you will find with every course, there's an advancement to the previous one. So we always strive to ensuring the highest quality we can cater for and we can afford. Top notch knowledge. All the programs are designed at the end to get you to the top of your career, to get you to something niche, to something that is new, a hot skill, that eventually will yield you a very good return on investment, both in the financial side and in your career as well. Easy to follow will explain topics. If the, the flow of the information doesn't make sense to the instructors, we don't teach it. So we keep altering and changing until it is very easy chunks of information with a very convenient and logical flow. So it becomes easy for you to understand. And it's broken down into learning chunks to motivate learners. We are not interested in any course that will be 50, 60 hours. We can club all these courses together in one course and then you have a 60 hours course. And then probably by the time you, you are able to provide and dedicate 60 hours, it's going to be one year. I mean, there is no point if I give you a lot of information that you can't 
you can't assimilate in a short period of time because it loses the value. So all the courses will be four to 15 hours max. And that's, that's the plan depending on which course and depending on the topics and the amount and the meat into the course as well. Striving to make the remote labs. So this is now a hot topic discussed. Um, finances are a challenge, but I do believe that the best way of learning is by doing. So I can tell you the best presentations and you can uh, go through configuration menus one after the other um, and I will explain it very well. Although we are on Udemy, but our main target is to give you a complete learning experience and hopefully that will happen in the near future. Since this is our passion, we have in mind that we always will produce content that will be between 5 and 10% of its market value. So if this course is officially sold at $3,000, $4,000, at the end, the full program, the full program, not a single course, is going to be less than or between 5 and 10% of the actual cost. I'm, we are trying to be fair to you and, and, and to us as well. And you will find that some of my courses I'm just launching for free. Sometimes it doesn't make sense for me to put a price tag, especially if it is at the beginner's level, because I need to help those people at that level uh, to ramp up and become to come to the intermediate level. And hopefully at the intermediate level, um, they will be able to afford the 5-10% of these uh, courses. So making these courses affordable to anyone anywhere in the world, not just a segment of the professionals. These courses, again, the five to 10% is coming from the same point that we don't want it to be locked into people who have money. We want it to be available to anyone. Being fair both to the instructor team and to the learners. Again, we want this effort to continue. And as I, I mentioned, um, our vision is, or our focus is on niche knowledge the knowledge that will get you to the top level and not something that will have you struggle for three four five years until you reach the top and probably you will just get bored midway so this is our dream for now is to avail the lab and we have a challenge with the funding as i mentioned but the plan of action is to invest from the revenues of these courses uh, hopefully into the lab so each, each and every one of you buying this course is basically partnering with us for better education for you and for continuity uh, for us as well. So hopefully that is a new approach um, uh, to education that we need we and you to partner together in order to maintain this good effort and this good vision and fulfill the mission of availing the niche knowledge at 5 to 10% of its market value to everyone all over the world. This will also make the operations course uh, much easier and a reality. When you are uh, troubleshooting and when you are learning the operations and troubleshooting of a live network that has everything, that becomes a real environment in a lab. And that makes it much more relevant and much more easy to understand.